Bay Area faith leaders are hoping the increase in tensions in the Middle East won't widen the conflict further or lead to an increase in hate crimes and violence here at home. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen joins us in the newsroom with more. Tom. Expressions of relief from faith leaders and a global security expert we talked to today. They're happy that the drone attack was thwarted without widespread civilian casualties, but are also concerned this moment of peace won't last more than a few days and that the trouble overseas may further escalate and increase tensions here at home. A quieter night in Israel tonight after the country's Iron Dome missile defense system did its job countering Iran's incoming drones and missiles. U.S. Central Command also helped shoot down more than 80 weapons. Yes, there's quiet today, but I think what most people expressed was kind of a dual feeling of hope for peace, but bracing for a storm. Rabbi Mark Bloom and some of his Oakland congregation gathered Saturday while the assault was underway. The first concern was, of course, for our Israeli brothers and sisters in Israel, but secondly, it was about the anti Semitism here. Uh, we know it happens, it happens even when Israel doesn't respond. <laughs> The congregation just received about a quarter of a million dollars for security upgrades to help protect visitors to their temple from hate crimes. It's part of nearly $40 million in grants the governor awarded to reinforce security at nonprofits across the state. Several Bay Area community groups, including this Fremont Islamic Center, received grants totaling millions of dollars. These grants are often extremely small when you compare them to the cost of a weapon system, but they can do a lot of good in strengthening the society, strengthening morale, and uh, strengthening, for example, intelligence capabilities. Money well spent, says Dr. Kartika Shashakumar, a professor at San Jose State University and an expert in international security and nuclear weapons. She, too, is concerned things could escalate but is hopeful they won't after Iran stopped its assault and said it would end hostilities with the drone attack. The way in which Iran conducted its retaliation was intended to bring tempers down a bit, and I think it has succeeded in that objective. But the question remains, will the peace overseas and here in our communities last? We also know that sympathy today when Israel attempts to fight back and defend itself turns to hatred tomorrow against Jews, not just in Israel, but Jews right here locally in the Bay Area. An Israeli official told NBC News Israel will respond to Iran's attack, but no final decisions have been made on the size or the timing of that response. Meantime, Iran doubled down on its right to self-defense. Terry and Gia. All right.